Can you save the day? The letter A sat by a frog and chatted with a duck and dog. <laughs> until the letter B swept by, a wicked twinkle in his eye. There are five vowels in your group, but 21 in our grand troop. I'm a more important letter. Consonants are so much better. A knew it only took one hand to count the members in her band. But consonants need all the toes and all the fingers plus a nose. The letter B stuck out his tongue and bragged, our group is number one. Offended, A said, You'll regret when all the vowels are gone, I bet. <laughs> then poof! Like that, A disappeared. That's when things got a little weird. Instead of bark, the dog said, Berk, 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 berk. And the duck couldn't quack. She could only cook, cook, cook. And the frog, poor thing, he couldn't croak. He could only crock. That woeful bloke. Crock, 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 crock. The horse laughed. Nay, who needs the A? And turned his back to eat some hay. But then E said, I'm going too. You're being rude. I don't like you. <laughs> hmm. So E took off. Things went awry, and all the horse could say was, Nye! 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 Twit, twit, twit. Twit, 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 twit. The birds sang twit instead of tweet. And the sheep just bleat instead of bleat. <laughs> now mean old B just whooped and roared as C through Z laughed in accord. <laughs> Insulted, young I spun her dot and soared off like an astronaut. <laughs> Turning back, she waved goodbye and the horse just hung his head to cry. <laughs> was all that he could utter. Onk. Was all the pig could mutter. Onk. 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 <laughs> the cow cracked up beside the bunny. They thought it was all too funny. So they sat and watched the fun. As A, E, I left one by one. 
But wouldn't you know, the next to go would be the cow's lone vowel. Oh! Mmm! Was all that she could say when O decided not to stay. The pigeons, too, they couldn't coo. K was all that they could do. K -k 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 -k. And rooster, I bet you can guess. K -k doodle, d, he said, distressed. K -k doodle, d, k -k doodle, d. The consonants were so absorbed in laughing that they all ignored. A tractor speeding toward their crowd. Fast asleep ahead it plowed. Only you and B observed the tractor as it swung and swerved. It snoozed and snored away, gaining speed to Bee's dismay. <gasps> Stop! Bee tried to shout in fear, but stoop was all the world could hear. Stoop! Stoop! And when he tried to scream, watch out! Which oot was all that he could spout. Which oot? Which oot? Determined, B jumped to his feet and vaulted to the tractor's seat. This was a test B couldn't flunk. B pushed the horn. The horn went hunk. <gasps> So no one heard, no one cared. B turned to you, a plea prepared. But vowelless words wouldn't flow. So B's unease began to grow. Calmly, you held up her hand. She could make B understand. That yes, indeed, their group was small, but with no vowels, words will stall. So up that you jumped strong and high, reaching straight up toward the sky. She bent her arms above her head and turned into an O instead. When she did, that horn could sound. Honk! The warning shook the ground. Honk! The tractor woke with the alert and stopped in time. No one was hurt. You turned toward the consonants, nodded with some confidence. And off she marched to make things right and help the letters reunite. Once A, E, I, O, U came back, the dog could bark, the duck could quack, the frog could croak. The birds could tweet. The horse could neigh. The sheep could bleat. The pig could oink. The cow could moo. The tractor honk. The pigeons coo. And what about the rooster? Yeah. 
he too could cock a doodle doodle do. Sheepishly, the letters shrugged, the consonants and vowels hugged. B said, Sorry, now we see the alphabet's a family. Then a steady voice said, Wait, I have one thing that I must state. <clears throat> At times, I feel left out, said Y. But you need me to say goodbye. If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. Seriously, you have to check it out. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Books app for free today.